Hi guys, I um, wanted to talk to you about uh, the pilot episode of Breaking Bad because as promised, I will be reviewing all of seasons 1 through 3. Now, um, Breaking Bad, as you may know, was created by Vince Gilligan. He's a guy who also was behind several fantastic episodes of The X-Files. And I love this show. I love it with a burning passion. But I wanted to go back to the very, very beginning so I could see basically how it all began. So at the very beginning of the episode, we get all these wonderful shots of Vince Gilligan's direction of New Mexico vistas that are just showcasing the beauty of New Mexico. And then out of nowhere, we see kind of these, these pants these pants that are just f floating almost in midair. And um, the next thing we see is Walter White dr driving down the, uh, the this, not a street, kind of a desert lane in a giant Winnebago. And my first reaction to this is, what in the world's going on? He's almost naked, and there are two guys in the back. What's the deal with this? Um... Now, um, the next thing that happened that really kind of shook me was he got out and he recorded this sort of sweet little goodbye message to his family. And my thoughts when I saw this were, okay, that, that all of what Walter White uh, is now currently is he's like the harmless guy. Um, the one thing that really stuck out to me in those first couple of scenes was the fact that, you know, this was a very vulnerable, broken man. He really had just been pushed around in life. And that's proved uh, later on in this episode when we uh, get past the opening credits to see that three weeks ago it was his 50th birthday. And that's how it all started. It was his 50th birthday. He's working not only as a chemistry teacher, but as a car wash assistant as well uh, to make ends meet for his incoming newborn um, which I thought was great we meet his kid who has cerebral palsy and there are things about that that I like uh, which I'll explain in a minute but we see that it's his 50th birthday he gets fed veggie bacon goes into school gets harassed by students all day then goes to the car wash he has this slight cough and we don't know what it is when we're originally watching it. I mean, it, it freaked me out. And then um, we, we find out later through um, the 50th birthday party that, you know, Hank, the, um, the, the stepbrother of Skylar, has a uh, job as a DEA agent. And he has done his very best to stop crystal meth flowing in and out of the New Mexico community and um, offers to take Walt on a ride along because his life is just so darn boring. Um, I think that this was kind of the catalyst that started Walt cooking um, and he was basically doing it for his family. His family is all that matters to him and um, to see him at such a point of desperation was remarkable. I mean, there's such a frailty to this character <coughs> that I myself absolutely love. It's that frailty that got me addicted to the show in the first place. So after um, kind of dealing with cars all day on the day after his birthday, he suffers some sort of attack and faints. In the doctor's office, he learns he has terminal lung cancer and uh, that he has about two years left to live. So he works with um, no one, actually. He, he kind of just keeps the whole thing to himself. And um, the scene that I love comes up a little later um, in the episode, actually towards the end, where um, Walter and Skylar, his wife, are in the... Uh, clothing store with their son who has cerebral palsy and uh, sometime upon learning his cancer diagnosis Walt decides he is going to be 
kind of a more strong man than he was. So these bullies are just kind of teasing Walt's son, and he kind of just walks out. Uh, and uh, then he walks back in, and he basically steps on the ankle of one of the dudes and, like, challenges him, and the dude backs away. I really think that this was the point of the pilot for me that made me fall in love with the show, but I didn't know that, you know, Walter Jr. was not going to have a vital role in Breaking Bad at the time. The other crucial thing that um, really made me get hooked on the series was the relationship Jesse Pinkman had with Walter at the start of the series. He was skeptical, but willing to try anything. Uh, because he knew that his chili powder meth wasn't really selling. Um, and I think the relationship between those two uh, wasn't exactly father and son, but it was almost like they were companions, and they were in this dirty business together. Uh, and that's what I really loved about the pilot. You know, you got a whole picture of who Walter White is and how slowly, slowly, he became more dangerous, more of a risk taker than he was uh, at the very beginning of the pilot. He was willing to risk all for his family. There's nothing more noble than that. But those noble ambitions, as many of you viewers know, eventually uh, was going to turn to greed. And um, it's nice to see Walter's beginnings um, because... Before he was the man who knocks, before he was the danger, he broke bad to try and save his family. And that's what I love about this show. It brings about the level of desperation we all sometimes get when uh, things go bad in our lives or things aren't working out. And that's what I love about this show. But I want to know what you guys think. Did you see the pilot? Are you going to be watching the three seasons of Breaking Bad along with me every Sunday or are you just going to tune in here and there and maybe watch one episode um, of Breaking Bad that you think uh, works for you, that you enjoy the most. In fact, let me know what your favorite episode of Breaking Bad is. I would love to know uh, what kind of episodes you guys really enjoy uh, from Breaking Bad. Do you like the more intense ones where there's a lot of action? Or do you like one of the more <coughs> one of the more dialogue heavy scenes uh, episodes like Fly or um, Three Days Out? Let me know in the comments below. Um, and um, as always, I will see you guys next Sunday for another review of Breaking Bad. Bye.